hey guys welcome back to another video in this video i'll be showing you how to do this quick collage this one will roughly take you about an hour to make so really quick in comparison to other renders and very easy and very effective so the first thing that you need is a simple sketchup model with basic proportions and perspective that way it is just easier for you to compose your collage next i just started adding my images and what is so nice and easy about collages is that you don't have to be very neat about your erasing and most of your layers should be hard edge and with no transparency because that way it will have the strongest impact and it will look literally as if it's been cut out from a magazine so i've just cut up my images using clip-in masks and then added some shops in the background Surprisingly, I found the stairs image that fit my perspective, my scale, my proportions perfectly. So I've just added a layer mask and erased off all of its edges. And I wasn't really too careful about this and you can see that if you look really close that some of the figures were cut off. But nobody's gonna look really that close. And it's all about just being quick. I then added restaurants on the top of the stairs and copied those on the side, flipped them and changed the color so that I don't waste my time finding other pictures. I've also added grass texture on the side and then added landmarks of the area and the same thing with clipping masks, just erased off their edges. I was gonna leave the stairs from the SketchUp model but then I thought to try and duplicate that layer and it actually worked, it looked really good and I didn't have to add any people or figures. I've added an image of a viaduct and then an industrial building I found of the area and you don't have to cut off the top or bottom of the edges unless they're like you know white spaces that need to be erased but sometimes you can leave the sky or the ground that way it's more collaged. I've then took this image of container houses and then just cut off the edges, made it somewhat the same perspective as the model and then just stack them on top of each other and I merged those layers and then just add them on the other side of the viaduct. Next I started painting trees and by mistake my brush was white but I actually quite liked the white and I thought it added another level to the image. Then a sky image so I erased the viaduct sky because it wasn't really necessary anymore. Added more trees and this one was a row of trees and it was an image just from Google and I just erased it a bit. I've then added an image of Christmas lights and changed the blending mode to color dodge I believe because there will be a row of trees with wires on them and lights that create a digital sky in the night. Lastly, more trees and tile textures that I have distorted. I've cut up a part of this image just so it looks a bit lighter and less busy and I've changed a few things but it was off camera because as always I was at uni and I'm just adding some last minute touches before my presentation and but I still wanted to show you anyways. So from the left side of the image I've added a food truck and a framework on the containers and it was just a picture of metal screens and I've just erased some parts of it just so that the formwork looks more organic and less rigid and then I've added an exhibition center which was just a glass texture. I've also changed the colors of the containers before I stack them, change the color using hues and saturation 
generation and then stack them and multiply them that's what that way it's more easier and more random i've also added some more trees between them wind turbines and text on some containers like cycling shops or vegetable shop so that people can distinguish between commercial containers and residential and that's about it if you like this video don't forget to like and share with your fans it really helps me a lot i'm Rasha Sharuru and i'll see you next time 